The left can now celebrate. A true moral victory and staple of the Democratic Party was officially put into effect. That's right. Thanks to liberals in the great state of New York, you can perform a mass shooting, child rape, or blow up a building full of orphans and not receive the death penalty by way of lethal injection. Nope, don't you worry. That heinous injection will only be reserved for fully formed babies whose only crime was being in the wrong womb. I'm Ben Davies. This is Pure Hollywood. The World Trade Center shined pink to celebrate that fully formed pain receptive babies could be killed inside the womb after the pass of their Reproductive Health Act. Governor Cuomo celebrated the passing of the bill saying, quote, in the face of a federal government intent on rolling back Roe v. Wade and women's reproductive rights, we got it done, unquote. And he wanted the One World Trade Center to shine pink to, quote, shine a bright light forward for the rest of the nation to follow. Several points to unpack here, but first, Roe v. Wade is a legal catastrophe and a democratic weaponized lie as seen by Cuomo's comments. If Roe v. Wade is overturned, guess what happens? Abortion isn't illegal, it goes to the states. Like New York, who would rather kill children than murderers. So don't worry, leftists, you can still live in these tax-stricken, crime-ridden, immoral hell states and kill whoever you want. You know, as long as they're in the womb. Let's not get crazy. Mass murderer, you're good, man. Apologists of the bill point out that the now legal late-term abortions, meaning up until their due date, are for when the woman's life is at risk or their health is at risk. And what is health, you ask? Well, whatever you want it to mean. Are you meaning emotional health, financial health due to stress? The feeling of losing your sense of being healthy? All of these and above, you know, because my feelings. And also it's important to note that these late term abortions, the baby is born anyway. The only difference in one being that the baby's life is ended. In late term abortions, when the baby is too large to be dismembered before removing, the baby is injected with a poison and the mother carries the child in her womb for another couple days, hoping the baby will give in to the agonizing death of poisoning. And the baby is still delivered, still born. And in the same vein, tell me what the health benefit would be. Do we all not have friends or know someone who's on a waiting list to adopt and go through the potentially years-long process to find a child to adopt? Why not deliver these children and give them to a loving family? After all, Democrat, we need to import new people, right? We need to flood in people because of all these jobs that need to be filled, right? <laughs> but of course, no, late-term abortion is a human right. You know, before this, New York's law was 24 weeks. And in 2016 alone in New York, over 1,700 children's lives ended after 20 weeks. The nation should mourn this senseless celebration in New York that lit up the same tower erected to remember the over 2,700 innocent people killed in 9-11 because their lives were deemed as expendable by these hijackers. The same building that is now lit up to celebrate children's lives ending. That has now been made easier, given protection, and that is now even protected till that child takes their first breath on their due day. This is sick. I'm Ben Davies, this is Pure Hollywood. Did you enjoy that video? Of course you enjoyed that video. So now you need to become a premium member to The Rebel. That way you have first access to Pure Hollywood and the entire Rebel lineup.